The stochastic oscillator measures the price of a close relative to the high-low range over a given period of time and is used to follow the speed or momentum of price. The oscillator is used based on the finding that prices tend to close near highs in an uptrend and near lows in a downtrend. Increasing the value of the percentage %k and percentage %d parameters will compare the current close against the longer period of time and lead to smoother lines. While increasing the percentage %k, slowing will also help smooth out the %k line. In this video, we've chosen blue for the percentage %k line and red for the percentage %d. The lines are drawn on the chart with levels marked at 80 and 20. Some technical analysts also use the 50 level to see whether the market is in the upper or lower half of the range. The lines above the 80 level generally indicate overbought conditions or the market at the very top of its trading range, while the lines dropping below the 20 level indicate oversold or bottom range trading. Now let's look at some of the signals that can be generated using the stochastic oscillator. In a strong uptrend, ignore overbought signals and use oversold signals to enter the market at an advantageous price. Similarly, in a strong downtrend, ignore oversold signals and use overbought signals to enter the market at a strong price. In range-bound markets, use the crossing of the K-line above the D to enter long positions, or the crossing of the K-line below the D to enter short positions. Bull and bear divergences are the method preferred by George C. Lane, who was responsible for popularizing the indicator. Divergence occurs when the price makes a lower low, but the indicator fails to also make a new low, or when the price makes higher highs without the indicator being able to replicate the new high. Bull and bear setups happen when the inverse of this kind of price to indicator behavior occurs. A bear setup happens when the price hits a higher low, but the indicator reaches a lower low. This can indicate future bear momentum, with the lower low of the oscillator being considered as entry. For bull setups, look out for price hitting lower highs while the oscillator reaches new highs. Finally, it's worth noting that the stochastic oscillator may work well in combination with the RSI, particularly in range markets.